I get you with your clever baji. Oh, Jeji. Oh, Jama Mata Shiji. Oh, Jeji. Oh, Jojo Weka Viji. Oh, Jeji. Oh, Yivu. Vajja Yivu Aroji. Oh, Jeji. A long time ago, the ever people have accepted the strength of a woman in human development, security, and even in war. Tashi, the wife of our mystical warrior, Toby Charlie, lived through thick and things with her husband. Gakoba Montoyo Epa Akplokweba Akploko. She was a woman with mystical powers, which were the beacon of hope for the Anglo warlords. Mm. That she had left the liver with the husband, but oral history has said that upon her arrival in the forest, and to her dismay, she met the first slave masters who arrived at the coast, planning to attack and made their ways into the cave, her territory of mystery. Mm. So she asks, Manya Nutuvi Vava, where are you from? She slapped the face of the earth. Suspending in the sky, calling on the people from adjoining communities. Navani, sir. <laughs> Before the arrival of the people, Mama Teshi has single-handedly fought the slave masters, leaving many dead and rescuing her people from danger. This courage of Mama Teshi has since been symbolized in subsequent wars fought by the Epo people, including the Dachutagba war. That is why it's only women with her type of courage that are allowed to carry Joey in Kevi as the only meal to energize and to keep the men satisfied throughout the war. You know something? No. This woman are later on and stood to become queen mothers for the chiefs who fought and won the battles. That is why during wars, the Evers will not hesitate to invoke the spirit of Mamateshi in her shrine to lead them. Thank you. Tell me, tell me, tell me. In the capital town of Ghana's northeast region, where the sun beats down, the ancient land of the northeast region stands a testament of a forgotten time, the Nigerian Gulf Wall. This wall, built by my people, was not just a mere wall of stone, but a symbol of strength, unity, and resilience. Mm. It was said to be a wall that bonded the people together. A very long time ago, the Manprisi people faced a formidable enemy. Their villages were scattered and vulnerable. The then chief, Nigeringa, said to himself, what can I do to bring back the hope of my people? Save my people and protect them. I will arise and gather my people. And we shall build a wall of defense. A wall that shall protect us and prevent our enemies from invading into our privacy. So they came together and they built this wall. Do you know what they mixed with the mortar? No. They poured in their honey, symbolizing their sweetness and cooperation. Their milk, symbolizing their nourishment and care for one another. Their blood to show that they had a shared destiny and that they were willing to fight for what was theirs, whatever the cost may be. This wall became a symbol of their collective will and their promise to safeguard their land, their heritage, and their future. Mm -hmm. Let us come together and build walls of hope and create a future where we are all safe, supported, and empowered. With us all together, I say, Tungbong na san nasado, Tungbong na san nasado, La sabile la sangami, nufangame sangam. Thank you. Anansi so si so. Yes, Anansi so si so. Yes, Sasa. Mo, my dear, long time ago, there lived a courageous, resilient, and mysterious woman called Phobi Koko. Light King Lady, she had set out in search of her nephew called a Tuahe Penny who was compelled by financial circumstances to move from Kumase to live in Atrencia. 
to better his life. Namu yina mu ni bibi. When Phoebe Koko reached at Atrinsia, she lodged in a kind woman's house called a Santua from the country client. And as we all know, as a guest traveler, he or she has to be seen off in a good way. So Phoebe was escorted with a ferryman who was to help her cross the mighty river tunnel. Hey, Nipa, Suru Nipa. Namu ni bibi. Phoebe has fallen into the river. Hey, asante se beni. Where the dimme te se dimwa. Phoebe is under the river. Anza, anza. Me se dain. Anza, anza. Na huwa nebe kwa kwa yino. So the ferryman has to run to inform the people of Atrinsia in Kenya I say about what has happened. Hmm, for Fiantuata. Yes, she share, yes, she share your uncle Siaga. So we have to go and inform as she share tunnel to intervene on our behalf. Now when him they see ye Monche Mebo Mumu. Yes, she share ye, she share ye, and it's Uncle Siaga. So we have to go the second time. And it was revealed that Phobi is not dead. Hey! hey. I need you about half four. Hey. hey! So, to our surprise, she came along with some objects and talismans, both at her back and on her head. When you know, half four, she came along with some three objects, namely, Ofri Kwejo, which is the eldest of it all, Etsubontin, which is the mighty river tunnel, Koko, which means Red shade and our senate coco. Collectively, this object we named as Tia Kofi of a Tracia and Yang Wangwa. So it symbolizes harmony, prosperity, and enduring spirit of my people. It is all about me, Kuma. Yen to two young Mamreni and Mania said, Da. If you say, I'm Mamre away, a moodu. Nanny, that you have a baby. Ain't your brammy cost from a queen. Of a tow or ho. Eh, my who's a wood chubby little chamber who can't hold. Me wife, oh, Nako, no, Biaba. Thank you.